Lots of people coming up then, and one of them was Buddy Holly. We loved his vocal sound and we loved his guitar playing. But most of all, I think, it was the fact that he actually wrote the stuff himself. That's what turned us on. When I went to art school, I was at art school for five years. When I went to this is sort of college, you know, I went in there, they would only allow jazz to be played. You know, they wouldn't allow rock and roll in, it was frowned upon those days. So we had to con them into letting us play rock and roll there on the record player by calling it blues, you know. As I became a teenager, I was about, I think about 12 or 13 when I first heard Fats Domino. I'm in love again. That was the first, I think, what I would call the first rock and roll record I ever heard. Um, even Bill Haley was around then. I remember being in school when I was a kid and, uh, Somebody had a picture in one of the musical papers uh, of Elvis. I think it was an advert for Heartbreak Hotel. And I just looked at it and just thought, he's just so good looking. He just looked perfect. When I was 16, Elvis is what was happening. A guy with long, greasy hair, wiggling his ass and singing Hound Dog and uh, That's All Right Mama and those early Sun records, which I think are his great period. That's him. That is the guru. We have been waiting for the Messiah has arrived. You ain't nothing but a one of our favorite records around that time was one called Searching by the Coasters. Well, no. We got to hear people like Big Bill Brunsey. I think he might have even done a tour of England. Why did you trade heaven just for these earthly things? I was a big fan of his and actually Frankie Lane. Every pair of eyes, you know, all those train songs and, uh, you know, Rock Island Line and all that stuff. Suddenly, here was a rock and roll hero who had glasses. I love The first um, music I can remember hearing as um, guitar-oriented music was Jimmy Rogers, the singing brakeman. I had ain't no idea about doing music as a way of life until rock and roll hit me, and then when rock and roll hit me, that changed my whole life. Drums were the only thing I wanted, and I came out and I used to look in shops and see drums. That's all I looked at. I never looked at guitars or anything. My dad used to be a trumpet player himself, and for my birthday, he once bought me a trumpet from Rushworth and Drapers, one of the music stores in uh, Liverpool. And then at, when I was 16, I re-established a relationship with my mother for about four years. She taught me music. She first of all taught me the banjo, and from that I progressed to guitar. She, the first song I learned was Ain't That a Shame, an old rock hit, Fats Domino.